Okay, so another example here of invo uh, involving some trig functions. So here we're going to integrate cosine to the fifth x times sine x over 1 minus sine squared x. So again, um, you know, usually when I see a problem like this, the first thing I think is, do I just know it? Well, certainly I don't just know it. Um, if there's a lot of trig floating around, which kind of in this case there is, I think, well, you know, are there any trig identities that's going to sort of clean it up and simplify it? Um, and then after that, you know, I see cosines and sines, and again, those are derivatives, so that makes me think uh, maybe a u substitution at some point. So I think uh, first, though, we can definitely use an identity to, to simplify this problem. So uh, recall 1 minus sine squared, that's actually the same thing as cosine squared. Right, because remember, cosine squared x plus sine squared x, that equals 1. So if you subtract the sine squared over, we'll have 1 minus sine squared, again, which would be equal to cosine squared. Well, we've got cosine squared um, on the bottom, cosine to the fifth on top. If we reduce that, uh, well, cosine to the fifth over cosine squared would be cosine to the third power of x times sine x dx. And again, now here I think a, a u substitution will make things work out nicely. Again, this is just cosine of x to the third. You don't have to write it like this. I always like to. For some reason, it makes me happy. Uh, looks clear to me. So u equals cosine x. I'm going to let u uh, equal the, the, again, the thing being raised to the power, basically. And again, you know, sine x dx is hanging out there, so... Uh, I think that's a good appropriate u substitution. So if we let u equal cosine, the du will be negative sine x dx. Well, we don't want uh, you know negative sine x dx. We want positive sine x dx. So we could multiply both sides by negative one, which would make the right side into a positive uh, sine x dx. So now if we replace, it says we'll have u to the third power sine x dx is negative 1 du. And now uh, this is about as easy as the integration comes. Uh, you know, u to the third, that'll be u to the fourth over 4 plus c. So that'll give us a negative 1 fourth. And then let's see, u to the fourth power. So again, u is just cosine x. And then we've got our plus c left over. And uh, we've now got our solution.